recording. There we go. All right. Uh, so really, like I said, I just want to kind of make sure to get you guys um, just a, a kind of a for your in general information, right, uh, kind of video. Now, remember, there's a couple of things that you could do for selecting stuff, right? I can just select a face. Now, remember, if you hold down Q, right, Q is your quick key for selection tools. Shift will add selections, right? So if I hold down Shift and I left click, you'll see it will actually add to those selections, right? So it'll actually add to those. So that's one way to do it. Select, Shift, left click, Shift, left click. Another selection option, remember, is if you hold down your left mouse button on your selection tool, which is right up here, Q is the quick key for that, right? Hold down left mouse button. Obviously, there's a tweak tool, one of my favorites. There's also circle select, and that's the one where if you just hold down your left mouse button and just move your cursor, it basically drag selects, right? Now, there actually is a radius size, that little circle. You can make that bigger or smaller if you want to. But it's cool because you just hold down your left mouse button and just move your cursor. So you can see that there are many times when that's going to be an even faster way to select, right? You're not shift, left, click, shift, left, click, shift, left, click. Circle select, right? Also remember, Q toggles through those types, right? Rectangle select, which is just your box select. Circle select. Lasso select, right? And then, of course, tweak if you just want to tweak some stuff, right? So just a little bit about selecting things. Also remember, there is a select menu, right? Select menu. And in there, one of the things we started talking about today was more or less. More or less, right? Up arrow is more. So that'll take whatever you have selected and expand it to include everything that was it was touching, right? It's all the polygons that were next to it. Down arrow will do less. In this case, it's kind of we already couldn't go less because of the, the mirror modifier. But that's a really cool kind of selection thing to know as well. Now remember also, if you want to delete stuff, right? Like hit delete, and it brings up your delete menu. Now, if you want to take an edge loop out, dissolve edges. If you just want to get rid of a face, go to face mode. And remember, you can assign quick keys to these, right? So if I right click on a tool, it'll bring up the options here. And if you haven't assigned one, it'll say assign shortcut. In this case, I can go to change shortcut. And you notice how it brings it up here. And I could say shift delete, right? So you just click on the keys that you want to be your shortcut. And it assigns that. So kind of a cool little few things I just want to make sure you guys saw, right? Delete, delete faces. That'll get rid of a polygon or a bunch of polygons if you want to. Kind of cool to know some of those neat core quick keys, right? Uh, so I just wanted to kind of make sure you guys know about delete, that if you right click on a tool, you can assign a shortcut or change it, right? If you don't like what it is. And like we said, you just bring it up here and you say shift delete, and then it'll assign it. So like right click, if I remove it, it's gone. Right click, see how assign shortcuts there? Hold down shift, delete, there you go. That's how easy it is to assign a shortcut in Blender. And of course, the select menu has more or less for growing and shrinking selections. And of course, very right up here, right? Usually you'll see it as this. That's your select tool. Q is the quickie for that. Q. Q for quiz, right? And if you hold down left mouse button on it, there's all your options. But of course, Q itself is a toggle. So if you keep hitting Q, it just cycles through them. And of course, circle select, you just hold down left mouse button, move. But also, if you just shift, left click, shift, left click, shift, left click, shift, left click, that'll allow you to add selections as well. So shift will add and often subtract, right? So believe it or not, shift will often add and subtract. Uh, certain functions control will do the, uh, do the deselecting. But I figured that would be a great little kind of video for you guys to see on those things.